Hey kids, uh, service is gonna be a minute. Uh, but before that, let's do some scavenger hunt. I'm gonna give you three minutes to find the eggs in your house and start now. Hey kids, how are you doing? You know what day today is? Today is Easter. So happy Easter to every single one of you watching at home. You know, today's lesson is gonna be so exciting. You know why? Because we are gonna learn about how the story of Easter, how Jesus resurrected from the dead, and how it changed some of my friends' life, and I believe it's gonna change your life too. So get ready and let's get started. Hello kids, how are you going? It is so good to see you again, and it is time to worship God now. To be honest with you, I actually miss seeing you in person and worship God together, but it doesn't matter why, because God is everywhere. God is here, God is at your home, so He is everywhere. So as we worship God today, I believe that He is listening to every single one of us. Okay, so let's get ready and prepare our heart. Love for me, all oh, his love for 
sacrifice for us and we are grateful that you call us the son and daughters of God and we believe that you have prepared all the blessings all the good things just for us today but today God we believe that you want us to listen to your word and we want to be obedient to you we want to learn from the Bible and we pray that we will be someone better in loving people, in loving our friends, in loving our family, and of course, in loving you. Amen. We thank you, God. We surrender every single thing into your hand. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So we have just done worshiping God. And how amazing was that? It was awesome, wasn't it? All right. And I can promise you that now, it is gonna be even better why because we are about to listen to the word of god so don't go anywhere stay tuned and watch this video the story of easter jesus's sacrifice this is jesus hey who is the son of god and the savior of the world while Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus ah, come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. 
and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Today is going to be a good day. I finally get to play my Nintendo Switch. Mm. Hey, boy! What are you doing? Hey, <laughs> <what's up? laughs> no, no, no. Oh, come here. Here's I think this is my nice pick. Can I have it? This is so hey, good. Thank you, by the way. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I just thought it was going to be a good day today. <sighs> what should I do now? I'm, 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 I'm so sad, you know, I was just about to have a good day. I was about to play with my, you know, the, the Nintendo Switch and then two guys just came over and they, they stole my Switch, my bag and my, my hat. How can I be happy? Oh no, that sounds so bad. You know what? Let me 
cheer you up. Have you ever heard the story of Easter? Easter? No. Here. What is that? Let me tell you about it. So there's this one guy. His name is Jesus. He's a god and he's a superstar. You know, he did so many wonderful things. And he gives us hope and joy. And most importantly, he loves us very, very much. Do you want to know how much he loves us? I do, but he, he sounds really cool. Is he Superman? Well, you can think of Jesus as a hero, but he is not quite Superman. Yeah, so Jesus in this Easter story, he loved us so much, so uncondition unconditionally, that he would even die for us. Yeah, so just imagine that. I know that you're feeling down right now, but just always remember that there's always someone there who loves you. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah? Did that story cheer you up? Of course it did. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for showing that to me. Yes. You know what? Now let's go and find those boys and take your cap and Nintendo Switch back. Yeah? That sounds like a good idea. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Auntie Family. Long time no see. Yay, it's Easter. Last Easter, we have uh, making rush together with my mom, making fondue together with my mom, and then like we have an explore race with my friends. That's so much fun! Wow, that's amazing. Well, this year is going to be a lot more fun mm -hmm. because we're gonna do Easter egg hunt and then we'll probably do some face paint as well. Now, the most important question is that do you know why we celebrate Easter? Mm -hmm. Is it because we celebrate Jesus' resurrection? That is indeed correct. So we celebrate Easter because we're celebrating Jesus Christ's resurrection. But the most important thing is that we serve a God who is alive and he, he is here with us. Even though we cannot see him physically, but he is here in our heart, in my heart and in your heart as well. And that's why we celebrate Easter. Wow, Auntie, that was such an amazing story. I'm glad I came to your house today. Um, I'm gonna play with my friends now. See you at dinner. Okay, then go ahead, have fun. Bye, Bye. Auntie. Bye. Chris, over here. Oh. Say, see. Hi. Oh, what you oh. got there? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, are you okay? Uh, the chocolate safe, right? Yes, but are you okay? Wait, oh no, I don't know. Come on. Ow. You can go around the table. Ow. Uh. Okay. Um, why do you have so much chocolate? Are you oh. sure you've got enough here for just one person? Uh, Easter party, you know? Yeah, and did you take the whole party? Um, I won a prize. First place. Oh, congratulations. You want one? Yes. I'm surprised you're sharing. You know what? Never mind. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm taking this. This is mine. All right. Enjoy getting fat then. You know, Easter is about more than just chocolate, right? I can do this all day. Just once a year. You know, eating chocolate, getting Easter eggs. And my parents gave me presents, you know, once a year. You get Easter presents? Oh, yeah. My parents treat me sometimes. You know, last year I get PlayStation, and this year I'm asking for a new Nintendo Switch again. What the heck? Do your parents want to adopt me? Uh, nah, I don't think they're open for adoption now. Oh, what a Too bad for you. I'm going to eat this all day. Can I, can I just have... No. These are mine. Okay, fine. I'll just stick with my book then and whatever else I can find. Uh, Maybe this plant. No. Oh, do I buy this plant? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Easter is about chocolate and presents. Oh, Not gonna happen again. Only once a year. 
You're so young and naive, Chris. Easter is about so much more than that. I mean, I learned about it in church just the other day. You should try going sometime. You learn a lot. Do you want to know what Easter's all about? No, presents and chocolate? No, it's a lot more exciting than presents and chocolate, surprisingly. Okay, what is it about then? All right, so you like action movies, right? Mm, sure. You like Marvel, all those superheroes? Yeah. All right, well, the Easter story, better than all of those. More action, more drama, better superhero. All right, so it started with Jesus. You've heard of Jesus, right? Oh, you mean the superhero muscling bunny? No. Okay, so Jesus, the son of God, a bunch of people wanted to kill him. They decided they were going to hang him on a cross. Very gory. If they made it into a movie, you probably shouldn't watch it. You're a bit young. But anyways, hung him on a cross. And he did this all to save the whole world, including you. You weren't even born yet, but Jesus was like, man, I'm going to save my homeboy Chris. He did it for you, for me, for you guys, all of you guys. Jesus died on the cross that day, and it wasn't easy for him, but he did it because he loved us and because he knew it would eventually save us. Wait, if he's a superhero, why he died? Well, you know, not every superhero gets to live throughout the movie, but he does make an epic comeback. Hmm. It just took him a, th a few days of being dead, and then he rose from the dead. Wait a minute. This is gonna get boring. It's about Jesus, huh? So no more eggs. No, no more chocolates. Eggs, no more bunnies. It's about the greatest action movie of all. And it affects you. That's the best thing. It's a real story. It's not just fantasy. You're saved, I'm saved, all because Jesus rose from the dead eventually. He died on the cross, he rose from the dead. It's amazing. So much cooler than your eggs and chocolate and bunnies. So next time you want to tell all your friends about how cool Easter is, skip the bunnies, skip the chocolate, skip all that, go straight to the story of Jesus. Hmm, so not a lot of chocolates anymore, huh? No. Mm. Not anymore. You're a changed man, Chris. Uh, so Easter about sharing love, huh? Yes! How That's exactly what it's about. You know, God has shared love with me. I think it's time for me to share some love with everyone. You know what? This Easter, I'm going to be different. You can take your chocolate. This is for you. You're not going to take it back? No, oh. this is for you. And you know what? Since I'm trying to be different this Easter, Everyone, come here! Let's take some chocolates and celebrate Easter together! Yeah, there you go, there you Thank go! You. Can I Thank some more? You. Oh, yeah, sure! Oh, take some more! Take some more! Yeah, guys, thanks. take some more! Yeah! Thanks. Happy Easter, everyone! Do you still remember me? You uh, took my Nintendo Switch! Oh! So I'll take five of your chocolates! <laughs> oh. Don't worry, he's a changed man now! Yes! So, this Easter, I'm going to be different by sharing love with everyone. Good for you, Chris. I'm so proud of you. Wow, how amazing was that? I hope that you're blessed by every single story that you just saw just now. You know, even though I lost my Nintendo Switch, I lost my back, I lost my head, but one thing that I was sure about is I still have Jesus in my life. And I believe that the same thing happened to all my friends as well. You know, so today the Bible verse that I want to reach you from is Romans 5 verse 8. And it says this, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Can we just do it one more time? All right. Romans 5 verse 8. It says, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How amazing is that? You know, I am a sinner. You are a sinner. We are all sinners. But the thing is, it doesn't stop God to love us. And today, it doesn't matter how many mistakes we have made in our lives. We believe that God's love for us is still perfect and it lasts forever. And you know, 
Easter, maybe you can say that Easter is about the eggs, all the fun that you have during Easter, the long weekend that you have, but most importantly, something that we all should not forget is Easter is all about Jesus dying on the cross for us and resurrected from the dead. So today, we have the power, okay? So before we go, can we just pray? Let's close our eyes and let's pray together. Okay, one, two, three. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you died on the cross for us. But we know that you didn't stop there because you died and after three days, you rose again. That is when we have our victory. We believe that from today onwards, we are gonna live our life with the power of Jesus, the power that is gonna let us live every single day of our life victoriously. We thank you, God. We surrender every single thing into your hand. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, kids. So I hope that you're blessed today. You know, today is Sunday and tomorrow is still a school holiday. It's going to be a long weekend for you. So enjoy your holiday and God bless you.